All right, JD here. So I apologize for kind of doing like another vlog style video or I don't know what to call this. So I'll get back to long form videos uh, more later on, but I just want to do this video just because there's reports that Drew Brees is set to retire. And I want to talk about an interesting time of Drew Brees when he was in San Diego that took place in 2004. So first of all, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. So I just want to start this off in 1998. So 1998, the Chargers, they needed a quarterback. They drafted Ryan Leaf. Things didn't go well. It resulted in the Chargers having a 115 season in 2000. Thus, the Chargers had the first overall pick in 2001. And they traded away to the Falcons. And the Falcons selected Michael Vick. But the Chargers, they went ahead. They drafted LaDainian Townsend, the fifth overall. And Drew Brees with the first pick in the second round. So you have Brees and Townsend. But Drew Brees, he did not start in his first year during the 2001 season. It was Doug Flutie. Then in 2002, Brees, I forgot how many games he started, but he was, I guess, okay. For a second-year quarterback, he was decent. You know, he did good, but nothing to make you say, oh, this is a franchise quarterback. But his third year, Brees really struggled. And he got benched, but then regained his starting spot. And the Chargers, they finished with a 4-12 record in 2003, and thus they needed a quarterback. So... Breeze, because he did not play well, like I said, they needed a quarterback. So, with the first pick overall in the 2004 draft, San Diego selected Eli Manning. But Eli Manning, he did not want to play in San Diego. So, the Giants took Philip Rivers fourth overall. So, Manning, Rivers, they swapped. Rivers went to San Diego. And I think, you know, Philip Rivers, he was ready to play in NFL. I think many people felt that way. A four-year starter at NC State, but still, rookie quarterbacks, it took longer to develop back then. So what happened is Philip Rivers, he was, like I said, he was expected to be a quarterback, but he held out at training camp. He held out, he held out, he held out. And at one point, it was like a stalemate between the Chargers and Philip Rivers. So Marty Schottenheimer, he's the coach of the Chargers at the time. He needs to coach his team. He needs to get ready. And the negotiations, excuse me, excuse me, the negotiations, they were still going on in August. And basically what was happening is with Doug Flutie not really being healthy, and this is basically going to be Drew Brees' team once again because Philip Rivers was being held out of training camp. So, um, going forward for the 2004 season, it's Drew Brees' team. And Philip Rivers was signed eventually at the end of August. So, what happened? Drew Brees, he really played well. Drew Brees did not really show anything during his first three years in San Diego, but his fourth year was really good. And in fact, Drew Brees, who was a comeback player of the year, Chargers went 12 and 4. They lost a heartbreaking loss to the Jets on a missed field goal by the Chargers. So I was like, okay, it looks like you have a franchise quarterback here, but you have also have Philip Rivers. So what happens is that the Chargers they signed Bruce to um they, excuse me, they signed Brees with the franchise tag. So Brees was with the Chargers for another year because his con his rookie contract ended. So for the 2005 season, and this is how I'll say it. For me, the 2005 San Diego Chargers, the best team in my lifetime that did not make the playoffs. I mean, this team was really good, just as good as last year's team that went 12-4. They outscored their opponents by 100 points. One problem is that they had a very hard schedule. Um, their interconference games were against the uh, NFC East, uh, which was really strong. You know, I'd say pretty strong at the time. But they also played three consecutive games where they're playing teams. That were coming off of their buys. In fact, there's a five-game stretch where for those games, San Diego played against teams where they're coming off of their buys. And I never saw anything like that. Maybe I'm wrong. Please comment below if I'm wrong about that or if you see anything like that. But also San Diego, out of 11 out of their 16 games that they played, they're against teams with winning records. So therefore, only five of those games were against teams with losing records. So a very strong schedule. And in the last game of the 2005 season, Drew Brees, he tore his labrum. And that basically was the opening for Philip Rivers to come in and, you know, be the quarterback for the Chargers. Drew Brees went on to sign for the Saints. And, of course, it worked out well for the Saints. 2006 San Diego Chargers, they went 14-2. and two. And this Chargers team, I want to get back to it. Um, you know, Chargers around this time, they were loaded. Arguably the best running back in the game in LaDainian Tomlinson. Arguably the best fullback in the game in Lorenzo Neal. Arguably, they're the best tight end in um, in the game, Antonio Gates. Arguably, the best nose tackle in Jamal in Jamal Williams. I'm sorry about that. And arguably, they're the best edge rusher in Sean Merriman. Um, they also had a Pro Bowl left tackle in Marcus McNeil. Sean Phillips, he could get after the quarterback. And this team was really good. 
But the thing I want to talk about is that if Drew Brees stayed on this 2006 team that was so stacked, would they have won the Super Bowl? But it didn't work out that way. And also, what if Phil Rivers did not hold out? Like I said, Phil Rivers, he probably would have been the starting quarterback from day one if he did not hold out. What would have happened to Drew Brees? Like, because there's no like film to really show he could play in the league. I mean, of course, someone would have signed him. How long would he have gotten another chance? And I've been thinking about that for a long time, about what would have happened if Philip Rivers then hold out. But anyways, of course, it all worked out well for the Saints and Drew Brees, who had a wonderful career. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you. I just appreciate everything. So, sorry for doing this vlog style uh, video again. I'll get back to a little more long form um, videos. And just thank you so much. I appreciate everything. Uh, thank you and have a good day. Thank you.